Hi everybody, it's Dicky Time Gal again, doing another juice review. This time we're going to do it on vapedudes.com. V-A-P-E-D-U-D-E-S dot com. Um, they're out of Dallas, Texas, and they had handcrafted um, gourmet juices with 100% of the ingredients being in USA. Um, they're a little different on their PGBG ratios over there. Um, they only offer 100% PG, 30% PG, 70% VG, a 50-50 mix of PG VG. They have a 70% PG with 30% VG, and their last option they have is a 95% VG, 5% PG. They do not offer 100% VG over there. Um, all I have is the 10 milliliter bottles. And um, I have uh, juice reviews today is going to be on the peach cobbler, fruit, tsunami, and black cherry. Um, a little bit about them over there. They got a uh, only thing I could find on the shipping information was they have a flat rate three dollar shipping. Um, that's all I could find over there. Um, the nicotine strengths are six milligrams. 11 milligrams, 16 milligrams, and 24 milligrams. Um, they use a 100% kosher vegetable glycerin and 100% kosher, please excuse me, I cannot pronounce this to save my life, propaneline glycerol PG. I don't know, so I probably said it wrong, but... Um, with their flavoring, they have just a hint they have the standard flavoring, and they have extra flavoring. Um, they have an award point system over there where if you buy something, you get points. And then at a later date, you can use the points for to redeem for um, offers, coupons, um, free stuff, money off your total shopping cart, and different things. Um, if you want to know more about the point award system they have, you need to go to the website and look that all up. It was too much to put in the video. Um, they're out of Dallas, Texas, and as far as I understand, there's only a three-man crew over there, so they run the whole show with three people. So sometimes it does take longer to get your juice than usual because they make it fresh per order. They don't do batches ahead of time. They make it to order, and then they ship it out. So sometimes if they've got a lot of orders, it's going to take you a little longer to get your juice. They sell multi-packs. These here are the 10 milliliter bottles. On their bottlings, they um, have the nicotine strength, your PGVG ratio, your flavoring, and the size of the bottle it is. Um, that's the information they have on the bottles themselves. They do not have a date or a lot number or anything like that. Um, you can get 10 milliliter bottles. You can get five of them in their natural flavors. You know, they have some natural flavor line and then they have their regular flavor line. The naturals are a little different on the pricing. If you get the uh, five pack of the 10 milliliter bottles, you're looking at $30.99. If you get 10 of the 10 milliliter bottles, you're looking at $60.99. And then it goes up to the 30 milliliter bottle, which I don't have any 30 milliliter bottles to show you, but they do have them. They sell a three pack of those for $50.99. These are all the naturals. And then they have a 30 milliliter 10 pack. So you get 10 bottles of your 30 milliliter liquid for $159.99. Now the regular line, not the naturals, the regular line, you get a 10 milliliter five pack for $24.45. You get a 10 milliliter 10 pack for $58.99, or you get a 30 milliliter 3 pack for $47.99, or the big one, which is a 30 milliliter 10 pack, that's 300 milliliters of juice for $154.99. They break it down in individuals if you want to buy a bigger bottle of just one flavor. They sell the 10 milliliter bottles for $5.99. You get a 30 milliliter bottle for $16.99. You get a 50 milliliter bottle 
for $27.99, and they even sell the 100 milliliter bottles. Yes, they have 100 milliliter juice bottles for $52.99. Um, everything's pretty self-explanatory on the website. If you do with the multi-packs as far as what to pick from and uh, nicotine juices and strengths and what have you. Um, with all that being said, I think I've covered pretty much everything with that. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and get on with the reviews. Now, I have purchased 50-50, um, 50 PG, 50 VG on these flavors initially was when I first started smoking. Um, and I kind of noticed it didn't have much of a flavor. So I reordered again the same flavors in 100% PG. So I'm going to go ahead and do all six of them, but it's just three flavors, and we'll take it from there. Let's start off with 50-50, 50 PG, 50 VG, um, Peach Cobbler. This is 16 milligrams strength, extra flavor. All my bottles are extra flavor because I'm a flavor person, and um, it's a 10 milliliter bottle. I'm going to be smoking all of these today on an Ego Sea Twist. Please don't pay attention to the sticker. Um, and you go see twist. We're going to set it on 4.0 volts, 4.0 volts, and we're going to be smoking them all on a 306 drip tip. So when I'm doing multiple flavors, I need to be able to switch up quickly. And cleaning out a bunch of tanks isn't exactly what I want to spend my time on. So here we go. This is Peach Cobbler 50/50. Put a few drops on here. Not real great on the vapor production, I've noticed. Definitely taste the cobbler part, the, the doughy part, the bread part, if you prefer. Not tasting the peach much at all. Maybe just a little trace of peach. Hmm, that's just not... I'm tasting the uh, the cobbler part definitely, but not so much the peach. It's not sweet. It's kind of blah, which again is why I went with the 100% PG because I'm got to add the flavor. Let's try the same thing, peach cobbler. Here we got with 100% PG extra flavor. 10 milliliter bottle and it is 16 milligrams of nicotine. And my cap, my little squeezer bottle thing came off inside the cap. I have to fish it out. There it goes. I'll put it back on the bottle. Alright. Let's try this at 100% PG. No vapor at all. I am tasting the peach coming through just a little bit more than the 50-50. Um, these bottles may need to be steeped. Um, I've been steeping them for uh, a while now. I'm not sure exactly how long I have been steeping them, but it's there's there's the the doughy the bready part is there, but the peach is is so faint it's like you can't even taste it. No. I'm not tasting the peach whatsoever. 
So, if again, if you like light flavors, something that's um, kind of faint on the, on the flavor, you want faint stuff, you, you might want to go over and try to check out uh, Peach Cobbler over at uh, Vape Dudes. Might, might be what you're looking for. Not necessarily me, but, you know, everybody has their own opinion when it comes to juice. So, that's so why I try to keep this uh, as honest and as informative as I can without uh, telling you rather to buy it or not to buy it. It's entirely up to you. Okay, we're going to move on to uh, fruit. Tsunami. It's got a T. T-S-U-N-A-M-I. So, to me, it seems like it should be Tsunami. But I could be wrong. It could be Tsunami. But anyways, we're going to move on to Fruit Tsunami. This is a 50-50 mix. Keep in mind with each one of these that I'm vaping, I'm using a brand new 306 drip tip. I'm not mixing flavors at all. I'm starting fresh every time. And this is a 50-50 mix. 16 milligrams and the nicotine and 10 milliliter bottle extra flavor. The 50-50. So, let's put the cap on that and give it a try. Again, the Ego C Twist um, at 4.0 volts. Oh, that's kind of nice. It's kind of like a, a hodgepodge of fruit. Again, it's faint. It's not real overbearing on the taste. Let me try the 100% PG and see if I can nail down some of these flavors that I'm tasting for you. This was 50-50, right? Yeah. Yeah, this was 50 50. Let's try the uh, fruit tsunami or fruit tsunami. 100% PG, 16 milligrams, extra flavor, 10 milliliter bottle. Let's give it a good shake. Put some new drip tip on this Ego C Twist. And one drop. Oh, wow. Hmm. A little better on the, uh, on the uh, vapor production there. I'm mm, definitely tasting pineapple, peach. Maybe a hint of banana. Maybe a little mango in there. like a hodgepodge of fruit. Mm, a little aftertaste of strawberry a little bit too. But the, uh, the flavor is much better. Mm. On these other ones, these peach cobblers, both the 100% and the 50-50, I'm going to say it's about a 2 on the flavor. Um, on the uh, on a 1 to 5 scale. Um, with the fruit tsunami 50-50, was probably about 4. And now that I've stepped it up to the 100% PG, it is more like a, a 6. I'm sorry, on a 1 to 10 scale, it's like a 6. It's, the flavor is definitely there. Again, it's, it's not up to what I would smoke. I have to have, like, you put Jolly Mancher in your mouth. I have to have an explosion of flavor. But it's, it's not bad. That's a fruit tsunami, fruit tsunami. Over there from vape dates. Okay, we're gonna move on to black cherry. Got 50 50 extra flavor 10 milliliter bottle, 16 milligrams of black cherry. 
we're going to give this a go. That's, that's got some taste to it. I'd say that's about a, a five on the uh, flavor. Doesn't taste like a Bing black cherry. It kind of tastes like, for those of you that have kids and you've made the black cherry Kool-Aid, um, it kind of tastes like that. Vapor production, not really great on this. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, it's got a little flavor to it. It's, it's nice. And we're going to move on to our last flavor of the night. And that is Black Cherry 100% PG Extra Flavor 10 milliliter bottle, 16 milligrams. Again, we're smoking on an Eco C Twist at 4.0 volts on a 306 drip tip. Let's put some of this on here. Actually, the flavor is not much different than the 50-50. It's um, about a five. Again, not the black bean cherry that you get, but more like the Kool-Aid black cherry that you make for your kids. It's, it's not bad. Um, it's different. And... Um, all in all, um, not too bad. Um, again, this was date dudes over there, and I had extra flavor. Now, if you want a little something like some of those that were fives or sixes, you want like a, a two or three, you can go with it just a hint, or you can go with the standard flavor. You don't necessarily have to get the extra flavor, but they do have that as an option. Um, I still like my sweet vapes much better, but... You know, I'm being open-minded trying to do reviews on different things that I've done over the course of the past nine months or so to try to give you guys information on it. Um, yeah, um, I have noticed with some of the bottles, one of them from here and one of them from my Sweet Vapes review, the caps, when you twist them off, when you twist them off, the uh, cap is actually down in the bottle, and you have to fish that out with a pair of tweezers. Because I always have a handy dandy pair of tweezers somewhere right around by you. But yeah, um, give them a try. Like I said, the only thing I have to find on shipping over there was a $3 flat rate. I'm sure they have other options when you go to check out. They also have hardware for sale over there. Um, and like I said, it's a three-man crew over there, so if you're ordering a bunch of juice, you may have to wait for a little bit to get it, because they do make it to order. They do not make batches ahead of time. So, we'll put the uh, Ego Sea Twist up for the night, and we will call it night. I'll be back again soon for another juice review. Bye.